Hello, this is Sandeep and RJ Sameer from All Is Suno Radio Network. On this auspicious occasion of our seventh anniversary celebration, we are fortunate to have with us His Excellency Mr. Vibul, Ambassador of India to the State of Qatar. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you for inviting me on this uh, good occasion for you. <laughs> Thank Pleasure, you, sir. sir. We are very happy to have you here. and your presence adds a very special touch in our uh, festivities so thank you so much for joining uh, joining us well, thank you very much and congratulations to the entire team on <laughs> thank you thank you so much sir thank you sir uh, so sir uh, as we celebrate our 7th anniversary and uh, what message would you like to pass on to our listeners uh, well first of all i would like to congratulate uh, the, the channel uh, and uh, also all the entire team Uh, for your seventh anniversary, it's a great work that you have done over the past seven years, uh, and also congratulations to all your listeners. Uh, I think most of the listeners will be Indians since we are yeah. speaking on uh, Hindi and uh, and Malayalam channels. Yes. Uh, and to them, I would just like to say that uh, they should keep contributing uh, to the development of India as well as to Qatar. Uh, the Indian community is a great bridge uh, between our two countries who Thank have you. such uh, uh, great ties. Uh, which are historic and uh, which have been growing uh, in almost uh, all dimensions uh, exactly. over the past uh, years uh, the indian community acts as a bridge mm -hmm. and uh, uh, going forward uh, as we uh, further strengthen our relationship and take it to newer heights uh, the uh, community has uh, a great responsibility to keep contributing uh, to these ties and that is what uh, as the embassy we would uh, really like okay. uh, the community to do and also to keep connecting uh, with uh, the uh, indian embassy uh, so that uh, you know we have a good feedback mechanism exactly. and we provide our services in the best manner possible thank you so much sir as as an indian radio station how can we associate with indian embassy uh, to add uh, value uh, to the indian community well i think uh, many ways i think uh, you know your message is uh, is carried far and wide uh and uh, that is why you are very very important uh in terms of uh, messaging uh, to the indian community mm -hmm. uh and uh, we always look forward to associating uh with the radio channels uh, indian radio channels which are working here uh in qatar uh i think there are many ways uh, in which we uh, together uh, can be of great benefit uh, to the community i would just uh, say a few things in in this regard mm. uh, one we keep getting high level visits from india exactly. uh, to qatar mm -hmm. uh, and i think uh, there the uh, radio channel can cover those visits mm. uh, and that way we get to hear uh, from the higher ups uh, who are sitting in delhi uh, as to how the uh, how india is evolving and how our uh, relationship is uh, is evolving and in this context i would uh, just like to Uh, mentioned two visits which happened recently one mm -hmm. was of our uh, minister of state uh, for external affairs uh, the other one was of minister of commerce from government of rajasthan uh, okay. colonel rajwardhan rathor uh, these kind of visits keep happening and those can be covered uh, secondly i would say that uh, many a times uh, there are steps taken by government of india for mm -hmm. uh, the indian community abroad uh, and those could be uh, publicized uh, better uh, with our radio channels including uh, including yours Uh, yes. For instance, uh, we have a scholarship program for diaspora children, which has uh, just been announced for this year. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, a Bharat ko janiye quiz, uh, which mm -hmm. is now happening. Yeah. Uh, there could be policy uh, changes mm -hmm. in respect of uh, passports, visas, OCI cards, uh, many other things which impact uh, the overseas community. Okay. Uh, I think those can be uh, told by the uh, by the radio channel. uh then uh, as in the embassy we keep doing uh, a lot of events uh, mm -hmm. and uh, those uh, the information about those events can be taken far and wide with uh, with radio channels uh, so we have for example uh, this year done uh, of course the yoga day mm -hmm. uh, but mm -hmm. also a mango festival which right. was uh, you know, a great hit with the community mm -hmm. uh, as also uh other events which we keep doing we just did uh, bharat utsav uh, recently right, mm -hmm. right. uh and many other events that uh, that we uh, passage mm -hmm. to india was done uh, earlier this year mm -hmm. uh, so many of these events uh, can be publicized through uh, through the radio channels okay uh, we also do our consular camps in different parts of the country uh, mm -hmm. where in uh, the consular services passport services attestation exactly. uh, are done in different parts uh, and those can also be uh, Uh, you know 
uh, publicized through the uh, through the radio okay and then i would say that uh, you know we have a lot of indian community organizations mm-hmm. and the embassy mm-hmm. works very closely with uh, exactly. with them they keep doing their own events and uh, you know you you cover them in, in yeah. any case uh, but that is also a very important part Mm-hmm. uh of uh, taking the messaging out uh, to the community and keeping connected okay. uh because we have a large number of indians who are living here in uh, in qatar and if they want to connect back to the embassy for whatever reason mm-hmm. uh, i think uh, the radio is a, is a great uh, medium exactly. of uh, of doing that sir uh, what uh, support can the embassy give us in terms like if you want to educate the, the indian community regarding the cyber crimes which is happening and also there are a lot of insurance policies that are being established by the embassy for indian community so what exactly can be support that be that can be given by the embassy to us well i think uh, you know that uh, again falls into the realm of uh, information exchange mm-hmm. uh, and uh, radio again is a, is a great medium of uh, of doing that Mm-hmm. uh in the embassy whenever uh, we see a kind of a cyber fraud or a, or a, you know sometimes on telephone also there are uh, issues mm-hmm. uh we put out advisories uh, and those could be carried uh, by the uh, by the radio channels we also put them out on our social mm-hmm. media channels uh, so that is i think uh, is, uh, very important mm-hmm. uh, also in terms of as i said uh, in terms of other information i think uh, radio can connect with us we connect with the radio exactly. uh, and take that messaging out uh, to the community all right sir so and also about tourism how can this uh, like we can improve the tourism sector through radio what can be done uh, being like from the embassy what support can be given well i think uh, you know both tourism as well as uh, the trade and investment between mm-hmm. india mm-hmm. and qatar exactly uh, i see great opportunities okay. uh, and uh, uh, again uh, you know radio can play a, a fantastic role in terms of promoting this uh and i would say that not only uh, one way it's a, it's a two way uh, thing uh, you know indians coming to qatar for tourism mm-hmm. uh and uh, uh the local community from here going to india for uh, for tourism so we do uh, o- overall uh, every year we do uh, some tourism promotion activities in terms of uh, indian tourism mm-hmm. uh and uh, we would be very happy to associate be in any case associate with the radio channels but okay. uh, uh, we can always talk about uh, uh, these events that we do okay uh, even otherwise i think uh, the uh, the indian radio channels can uh, Uh, can tell about tourism and in fact you know even indians who are living here mm-hmm. uh, people from kerala might not have seen north india north indians may not have seen kerala that was so even for uh, promoting indian tourism here it can even be promoted for the indian community right. uh, and i think uh, we will share more information uh, we can share uh, some of the uh, things that india's ministry of tourism is uh, is doing Uh, and also i think uh, on trade and investment also we keep getting trade delegations from india for example and those can also be talked about uh, on the radio uh, mm-hmm. so that uh, you know both the indian community the local community as well uh, as well as others who are uh, here in uh, in doha uh, can take advantage of uh, of these opportunities and delegations which are coming and connect with them uh, if those are properly publicized through the radio channels as well Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, sir, uh, uh, what's your favorite dish? Kathri dish. Oh, well, um, uh, you know, I I have a uh, a challenge, which is that I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, but I look, I uh, you know, I I like all the cold meze uh, uh-huh. that is uh, served here. uh and of course the arabic coffee uh okay. which uh, uh, is given as a as in one sense a welcome drink as well uh i think that is fantastic and okay. uh, i always enjoy that uh, together with the uh, fantastic dates that we get here and what uh, indian dish you miss uh, the most in qatar No I I don't you know we have uh, everything, everything is available yeah. <laughs> here in fact I I would say that uh, you know I I come from Delhi mm-hmm. uh, and I was uh, not so much exposed to uh, the uh, the Kerala dishes okay uh, and I think you get uh, fa- great uh, great food here <laughs> right. uh, so I don't really miss in fact I enjoy all okay. the uh, you know Uh, onam sadhyas and okay. uh, another <laughs> food that we get served here great and sir, uh, sir uh, uh, sometimes i feel very low uh, i deal with uh, homesickness yeah. so i just i would like to know 
what is your go to method to deal with homesickness because uh, there are so many expats asian expats yeah no i uh, look i have done postings in different parts of the world okay uh, i was my first posting was in egypt mm-hmm. uh, i've done one posting in uh, in geneva mm-hmm. and then i've been in dubai and doha and uh, and sri lanka and i don't think when you are in uh, in doha you should feel homesick you know because it's uh, like are, home <laughs> it's it's <laughs> like home, home. From home. <laughs> it's like home the uh, cultural values or social yeah. values uh, which we have are very similar mm. uh, the indian community is present in large numbers geographically right. not uh, not so distant so i have not really faced that challenge uh, uh, in uh, in doha of feeling mm-hmm. uh, feeling homesick in fact i would say for for many indians actually mm. doha is like uh, their first home you know right. people yeah, who have been true. born yeah, here exactly. who have been educated here they feel very much at home here yeah. for many others it would be like second home yeah. <laughs> the first generation who is uh, who has come here uh, but i think overall uh, in doha you when the uh, indian should not feel homesick and if home. if you really feel uh, come to the embassy go to the indian <laughs> cultural center right. mix up with people yeah exactly do some activities right. uh, and you have the great advantage of being in doha is uh, it's so cosmopolitan mm-hmm. uh, you can look at uh, indian activities you can look at the arabic qatari activities exactly. you can also mix up with other nationalities right. and so i think uh, this is the uh, go to method method yeah, yeah. to deal with homesickness exactly <laughs> <laughs> and so i i've uh, seen like uh, you're promoting a lot of cultural activities sports activities so if i would say like uh, you listen to music Yes yes which I is your think. favorite song <laughs> I won't say any particular uh, favorite song okay. but I'm uh, you know uh, 80s and 90s in these songs are, uh, okay. are, are, are Hindi songs 80s and 90s 80s oh, and right. 90s yes <laughs> <Happy> so guys Rafi sahab ki shor da and uh, yeah yeah and uh, the great thing is you know this year we have had some uh, great indian artists who have, uh, who have already come here Long, yeah. you know we, uh, we had uh, some some fantastic music events uh and uh, there again you know we we had uh, the uh, good fortune of uh, hearing songs of uh, yeah. rafi sahab and kishor uh, exactly. kishor kumar and others all yeah. right thank you so much sir. thank you sir thank you very much for joining with us thank you thank you and uh, congratulations once thank more you, on this uh, very you, important and great occasion yes yeah. thank, thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.